So Friday, Friday um, uh, New York Fashion Week was um, was happening, right? And Nicki Minaj was present, and so was Cardi B. And Cardi B took that time to address uh, Nicki Minaj, but she wanted to get spicy. She wanted to smoke. Man. She wanted all the smoke. <laughs> she was like, "Now nah, fuck all that shit." Fuck that talking shit, son. I'm from the Bronx. Which is another reason why I am and will forever be Team Cardi. Not none of this team neutral shit. Nah. Cardi B is ready to fight on site after having a fucking baby. You know what's She's funny, though? She's still ready to pop off. I've always said this, but I'll say this on, on podcast, on air. Um, I'll never date any... If you're not from New York, don't ever date anybody from New York. Like, people in New York should only date other people from New York. They are a different breed. They're of, fucking of nuts. <laughs> They're crazy. It's Especially true. the Bronx. They're fucking crazy, son. Like, they just fucking nuts. But I love it. I love the energy. Like, she was with it. I like, like the you, energy. I like I'm when you're with down the shit. For it. She committed like, to it. People was mad at her because they were like, oh, she a hood rat. Fuck all that, son. No, and she so, is who she has been for the last let's ever. Let's tell you what happened first. So, according to Cardi B, um, Nicki Minaj was liking... Um, tweets and comments, comments about on Instagrams. about uh, people commenting on Cardi B as a parent, commenting on Cardi B's daughter. So that was like the last straw for Cardi B. She was not fucking. I'm about to fight this bitch. Because like you told me off air, once you like something on somebody's Instagram, it's like whether you, you said you, it, whether you say it or not, you said it. You're committing. You to can't it. like nothing that, no, if you like a comment. You fucking said it. So. That's you agreeing to that statement. Therefore. Yep. Those words are now your words. So exactly. now we got to fucking fight. So um, what happened was uh, Cardi B tried to address her. Then she tried to pop off. She threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj. But I don't think it actually hit Nicki Minaj. Because Nicki Minaj had a lot of bodyguards. And there's also the uh, the Fashion Week uh, security was present. So if you see the uh, clip of Cardi B. I'm going to pull the clip up now. You can see that big ass knot on Cardi B's head. So according to some people that were present... Um, Cardi B was uh, ended up fighting Ra Ali, and if you first of all, if your last name is Ali, I don't want to fuck with n- no parts of you. I don't even know if it's her real last name, but the way she's guys. built, she's built like Muhammad she Ali. She probably got that name because she's built that type of like, way. Yeah, she's if like, your last she name was, is Ali, there's only about three. You Ali's could tell, like in you could tell that in high school, she's a shaver head and she was a left <laughs> tackle. Like she looked like she bought that shit. Like Jesus. So yeah, uh, Ra Ali is fucking big. She's my height. I'm six foot two, y'all, and she's about my height, my build. So uh, apparently, Ra Ali was the person who put that knot on the Cardi B's forehead. So yeah, like, but Cardi B was with the smoke though. When you showed me the knot, I was like, I don't think that's real, but evidently it is. And oh, yeah, it's real. Yeah. Um. But. Again, it's another reason why I'm still Team Cardi. So, what are your thoughts because on like when you're a celebrity, you popping off on people like in public, at, a, at events? I you mean, think where that, else? Where else you gonna meet up at? That's a good. That's a good point. Because when you're a celebrity, unless you work for Love and Hip Hop, they don't stage you to be yeah, in the same no place life. at the same time in life. They so, tell you on Love and Hip Hop, okay, you got three seconds to fight. Exactly, and they put you in situations that you can't avoid, and this type of situation that you can't avoid. Obviously, Cardi B was feeling some type of way. She was. She probably had a couple sips in her system. I mean, as it was a, fashion as a week. Parent, you get. I mean, I'm I'm all, I'm all right with that. You, you got to defend your child, right? Especially if somebody else said something about him and somebody else agreed to it, right? Or agreed with it. Talking shit. So, <laughs> um, but still team. So whatever. Like I said, after all that happened, apparently Nicki Minaj uh, was acting like she doesn't know what was going on. Like she never again allegedly said it. But I mean, you know, I I don't think Cardi B was feeling like that for no reason. Also, um. Cardi B also put out a statement after everything went down saying that um, Nicki Minaj had been, you know, stopping her from getting money, like trying to tell people, tell certain artists that if Don't you work, work with her, I'm not going to ever work with you again. And telling her, you know, telling venues that don't book Cardi B. So apparently there's like a lot of behind the scenes shit. And so she was like pretty much trying to stop the bag for Cardi. So, and I guess with all of that shit happening, like, Talking to artists, talking to venues, talking to promoters, telling people not to... All that built up. Word. So, like, the last straw would definitely be like, okay, now you're talking about my kid, now it's a wrap. So, I mean, I got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? So, I think she should have planned better. You definitely should have planned better. You should have... You definitely got to plan to the point where you got to make sure, because you know it's going to be security wherever she goes. You got to make sure that whatever you do, you got to at least land one hit on her. I I think Nicki Minaj knew that she was coming, though, because... She don't like any time. Every other time that her and Cardi met up, there was never any security around. But now, of all like of all days, you have like thirteen fucking security guards. 
So I think that she knew that, okay, some shit's going to go down. So I think that, uh, you know, Nicki Minaj was absolutely feeling paranoid because she was actually, she was talking shit. So, I mean, you can't back it up. When you throw that <laughs> energy out. fucking mouth. When you throw that energy out there, you better be prepared for it to come right back at you, especially if you throw it in that car to be. So. Word. And you from New York, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, niggas well, pull you, up because you will get washed out here in these Word. streets. That's some that's some New York lingo, right? They be saying people get they washed. Get washed? Yeah, probably. I'm not from New York, so I don't know. I, just, I know that I they. I, like know, they I know that they say they say watch your mouth and they say bum watch ass. your fucking mouth. They, they say bum ass nigga. Bum wow. ass. No, they say it's hard though. <laughs> like it's an accent mark. You bum, a ass. bum ass nigga. Bum like, ass nigga. Why are you talking to me like you bum ass nigga? Like get the fuck out of my face. I'm on, I'm on the subway right now. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> that's the funniest shit ever. Stupid. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Stupid. People from New York got to date new people from New York. Don't ever. It's, no. It's a different type of attitude Don't ever date there. anybody from New York if you're not from New York. If it's, you're just walking around New York, then it's perfectly fine. Everybody is cool bumping into each other and saying, oh, stupid. Because they're used to it. But if you're dealing with uh, a relationship with somebody in New York, you better be prepared for that shit. Most people ain't. So, yeah. Date within your state, especially if you're from New York. Not just within your state, but just, just not New York. 